Every year, the publishers of the Oxford English Dictionary select a word of the year, but this year, they chose several. To explain, I'm joined by the president of Oxford Languages, Casper Grathwall. Casper, good evening. Good evening. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to speak with you. Not only am I excited, I'm also uh, thrilled, exhilarated, exuberant, and enraptured. I love that you can show that you can read. I appreciate that. If, if just barely. <laughs> now this year, you couldn't pick just one word of the year. What changed this year? Everything changed this year. We've all experienced a year that has turned us upside down. There's so many words this year that have had that we've seen huge spikes in usage and that we feel capture a lot of what's happening. Doom scrolling is a great word, one where you just you run through the headlines of your news on your tablet or device a until you just hit the floor with depression. I think doom scrolling was actually inspired by Trump <laughs> in a roundabout way. Bigly and Kafefi, I see you've left off the uh, list, but that's okay. We have, we have. Super spreader was a big uh, word that came from that White House debacle uh, event. That's his mark on history. Super spreader is now in the dictionary. <laughs> way to go, Donnie. Now the Collins English Dictionary just said lockdown was the word of the year. Would you like to take this opportunity to throw any shade at the monosyllabic fools at the Collins English Dictionary? All I would say is lockdown did have significant usage. I think it's a kind of word that you might expect. So there's not a lot of surprise in that word. Um, That's but... good shade. That's good. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> this year, coronavirus replaced time as the most used word in the English language. Can we get a new name for time now that it doesn't mean anything anymore? <laughs> Well, we do have the term Blur's Day, which uh, refers ah. to the fact that every day feels like the one you've just had and the one you're about to have. There's something <laughs> depressing but very accurate about that. What word sums up your year? Waste up. Because I, that is my existence is very much what it is with you right now. Yeah. And who knows what's down there? <laughs> Well, Casper, you know, I know 2020 hasn't been great. I hope that uh, 2021 is more waist down for you. Thank you. I hope so, too. For anyone watching who hasn't read the dictionary yet, uh, spoiler alert, the ending is zzzzva. Casper Grathwall, good evening, and thank you for being here. Thanks, Mark.